The years of the early 1920s was a time of readjustment, a time of reconstruction, a time of reconciliation, a time of progress. The attitudes of peoples and nations following the years when the world had gone mad by engaging in a war which left Europe in shambles was changing. Opportunities for growth, for progress, for rebuilding were at hand. Chuchas was still an isolated village, for the most part untouched by the changes that were taking place all around. Families were large and the village was alive with the sound of children at play. Mothers and girls were busy carrying water from the ditch to their homes. Fathers and boys worked in the fields cultivating their crops or tending their flocks of goats, while young men provided wood for fuel carried on the backs of donkeys. Eloisa Tafoya united in marriage with Celso Tafoya, who also grew up in churches and was one of the boys who attended the mission school. The Tafoya family owned farmland and worked hard to make it productive. They also owned and ran a store. The people in those days demanded that a store supply many of the needs they had, so that a store had to carry in its inventory groceries, dry goods, as well as hardware. The Tafoyas had 12 children. Ruben's father realized that in order to take advantage of the opportunities at hand, it was important and necessary for a person to be prepared. His children must go to school. At a time when the nations of the world, including our own country, was going through another rampage of madness known as World War II, Reuben joined the armed forces enlisting in the Navy and served in the Pacific Ocean Theater for five years and was honorably discharged in 1946. On September 2, 1946, he was united in marriage with Ursilia Cordova. Ursilia enjoyed teaching and spending quality time with her family and many friends, going to movies, dining out, and traveling the world. After a short time for readjustment from military to civilian life, Reuben enrolled at a business college, taking courses in preparation for joining his father and running the store. In joining his father and running the store, the business prospered and expanded, serving not only the community of churches, but all the communities in the surrounding area. In 1956, he was also appointed officer in charge of the post office, a position he held for 34 years. Besides being a businessman, his interest and concern reached out to other areas, areas which were of great benefit to the people of the community and beyond. He was appointed to the Rio Arriba County Board of Education and served as a member and chairman of the board for a number of years. He used his influence effectively in getting the highway department to pave the road leading up to churches. September 1986. Director Robert Redford began principal photography Wednesday on the Milagro Beanfield War in Churches, New Mexico. Business is up at the only store in town, Tafoya's General Store, where chilies hang from the ceiling, and a lone copy of the Milagro Beanfield War is promptly displayed. T-shirts proclaiming the movie are now on sale, and Ursilia Tafoya said they are going fast. 